Hey everybody, welcome back to another MB Heritage Farm video. It's a beautiful day out here on a homestead. Um, it's somewhere around 68 degrees. Our Premier One fence ain't charging exactly like it should. Now we know it's not a grounding problem because we've been taking chips out to the garden and getting everything ready for summertime. And uh, we've pretty much pulled everything off the fence. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what happened. It's typical. It always happens with these uh, plastic plates as far as the solar panel goes. It's white, it's got residue on it, just like your old headlights do. So we're gonna show you guys how we fix that really quick so we can get a good charge back on our batteries. Okay, so before we get started and show you guys how we fix this stuff, the first thing you're gonna need is a bottle of water. This thing holds about a quart. In this bottle of water, I have somewhere around one eighth of a teaspoon of Dawn dish soap. And the next thing you're gonna need is some 3000 grit sandpaper. And the last thing you're going to need is some type of non-yellowing clear coat. Um, I'd use Krylon. I really like Color Max. It's one of my favorite. A little more expensive, but it's better stuff. But any type of uh, clear coat will work as long as it's non-yellowing. And that's pretty much it. Um, we'll take you guys out to the garden. We'll show you what our system looks like. And we'll show you the steps we go through to fix it. Okay, so here's what our system looks like. I'm casting a shadow, but as you can see, all this white stuff right here, uh, normally this thing looks kind of like that spot there. So we're going to show you guys how we get most of that off and get it back to new so it can charge because that's blocking a whole lot of sunlight. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is use some clear, I mean just regular water, and we're going to try to get it pretty wet. <laughs> Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our 3000 grit sandpaper, pull this off a sheet, fold it in half, and just go at it. But we're going to go at it in small circles. You guys might see some of that coming off already in this white residue that's going down uh, the panel. but. It'll dry and come right back and look just like that, but uh, we'll fix it in the end. I'm gonna add a little more water. Now after that, we're just going to rinse it and let it dry. So now the next thing we're going to do is just use a microfiber cloth and dry it off. We're going to aid it in drying as much as we can so it don't have to sit out here and dry all on its own. Now when this thing does dry, it's going to go right back to the look that it had before. It's going to be all frosty, but we're going to bring it back to this normal luster here in just a little bit. All right, guys, we're going to let it sit out here for a couple hours, and then we're going to come back and show you the next step. All right, guys, so here we are. Uh, this thing's been sitting here drying for a couple hours, and as you can see, it went right back to that white film look um we do have a few places that may need a little bit more sanding but um we'll take care of those and then we'll come right back and show you guys what we're going to do all right guys the next step is we're going to take our clear coat and we're going to do our very first coat on this thing make sure you shake it up really good and uh we'll go ahead and apply that now And after we do one coat this way, we're going to give it just a few minutes and we're going to do a coat this way. We're going to let it dry or almost dry, not completely, and we're going to apply another coat. So we'll get back to you guys as soon as this dries up. All right, guys, so here we are. This is after our second coat. 
we're gonna let it dry till it's like really sticky and almost completely dry but not all the way dry we're gonna add a third coat and uh, then we'll tell you what we're gonna do next now this will dry that way the haziness will not come back now like I said we'll show you guys what it looks like when it's dry all right so here we are this thing's been curing for a couple of days uh, we're going to go ahead and give it another wet sand and then we're going to add some of our carnauba wax okay so this thing's been drying for quite a while as you can see there is no more white haze uh anywhere looks pretty much brand new except for a few of my fingerprints which may have oil under it or something so now that you see the thing's back to new uh, the next step is we're going to take our sandpaper and our water and we're going to sand this thing just one more time and then when it completely dries we're going to wax over it with some carnauba wax and that's going to be it easy as pie And that's it guys it's as easy as that now i will promise once you do your solar panel this way it'll never whiten again however there are a few measures that you need to take to make sure that the coat you just put on will last without ever going white and it's pretty easy all you have to do about twice a year is come out and uh, give it a little wax well obviously wash it first give it a little wax with some carnauba just like you would wax your car give it a couple of good coats couple times a year and that's all you'll have to do you won't even have to do any more wet sanding however if you do get pretty neglectful and your clear coat does start to get a few blemishes on it you can easily just wet sand it down wax it again and you'll be perfectly fine so we hope this helps i also want to let you guys know that this just doesn't work on premier one panels it works on little solar lights out in your yard pretty much anything you can sand without it being too big of a job this will work on and you can also go and use those uh, headlight replenishing kits that you get from your auto stores and that works just as good here too um, just go ahead and apply the same method at the end make sure you use your clear coat instead of any type of oil and uh, follow the steps on this video and you should be good so thank you guys for watching we hope this helps and as always we'll see you again on the next one